Well, hello, y'all. So and so's is Jaffe. Uh, the new trailer for Raccoon City Resident Evil just dropped uh, this morning. Oh, it's a Thanksgiving thing. Oh, it's in theaters. Eh, eh, there's too much to watch on TV. Doesn't matter. The point is, I'm going to react to it because why not? I'm excited. I listen. I love this woman. I don't know her name. It's a very unusual name. I saw her first in one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Loved her. Uh, she's my new girlfriend. And then I saw her in Crawl. Oh, Crawl's an underrated fucking gem of a god darn uh, a motion picture show. Great movie, by the way. Catch it. Uh, but anyway, here we go. She, I think she plays Claire uh, in the new Resident Evil. Here we go. Uh, and if you're, you know, I stop it when I want to talk. Sorry. It's not how you do a fucking react video. It's how I do them. It's how we do them in Bama. All right, here we go. Raccoon City, baby. Let's kick it off. Come on. Every story has a beginning. You goddamn right. Look at that opening Resident Evil trailer. Cause didn't she open RE2 driving into Raccoon City on the motorcycle? I think so. That's kind of cool. And she's got the red jacket. I'm down. Discover the origin of evil. Why are you back here, Claire? Oh my God, that's, that's true when we were kids. Terrible. They're not true now. Back here. Terrible effect shot. Look at that. Look at it. No. Whoa. This is horrible. I know it's early. And again, I don't really, you know, doesn't mean the movie's not good, but what a horrible. Oh my goodness. Even these helms are look like they're like first draft, you know, painted digitally. That's a horrible effect shot. Ugh. Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids, they're not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they had an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. Ooh, ooh, that was cool. I like how she's like, hey, I don't know what you mean. What is Chernobyl? Chernobyl, it's not a band? Okay, let me, what was that? Chernobyl, that was cool. You know what, I mean. what was that? Ooh, look at that. Okay, I don't know if she's wearing dead skin. That's pretty fucking cool. Dead skin. People are getting sick. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I know it's an easy, it's an easy, like, welcome to, you know, I love you Cleveland kind of line. But that's pretty cool to see that tanker turn over right in front of the goddamn uh, raccoon police station. Just like, it was RE2, right? That wasn't RE1. RE1's just in the mansion. But anyway. Going on. Oh, that's cool. A lot of fan service so far, fellas. We have to contain this. Shall we go? What were Umbrella doing here? This is where they're experimenting on him. It up. I mean, that's that's insane. Look at that. I mean, that's that's for the fans. Just, I mean, that's direct lift of the almost the texture map of the carpet in the first Resident Evil. Goodness gracious. Although now you look at it, it kind of looks like the sh people like Jeffy play the fucking thing. It looks like uh, the shining carpet, too, though. But anyway. Jesus, exactly. Come on, come on. We gotta get out of here. We're gonna take Umbrella down. Oh, that's cool. Was that in the? It was that in R? It's gotta be, but I don't. I don't remember fighting that. But I never finished RE one. Look at that. I mean, it's not great as a, but as a glance, you're not supposed to pause it, Jaffe. Oh, with the eyeball, that's fucking great. Nice. Okay. They're gonna give us a little pop at the end. They have to. They always do, right? 
No, that's it. All right. Well, okay. So this is an interesting uh, trailer because you can't be a fan of Resident Evil and not go, ooh, right? I mean, it's fucking awesome because it's just everything you love about Resident Evil. That's not true. But a lot of what you love about Resident Evil 1 and 2 it is almost shot for shot. It's like a, it's almost like a video game version or movie version of the video game, almost literally. So of course that's exciting. Okay. But uh, you know, uh, as exciting as that is, I think this is, this indicates this movie's going to be shit. Okay. This is, I'm going to call it now. There's going to be a shit motion picture show. And here's, here's why. Because if you strip away, if you show this trailer to someone who doesn't know resident evil, and doesn't get off on the the wonderfully presented fan service of which there is, you're you're left with something that's incredibly rote, incredibly not compelling, uncompelling. Doesn't matter. It's 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 very, oh, uh, you know, if you didn't know where these shots were taken from and you weren't getting the the dopamine drop of, ooh, that's from RE one and that's the carpet and that's the monster and he has the eyes on him that you have to target. Um, if you weren't getting that you would be left, I think, with just a pretty generic monster zombie movie, which is fine for like a B movie uh, that you watch on Netflix. But I can't imagine this is going to be something that people watch uh, and go, wow, that was awesome. Because if, if, if the movie had something really neat about the characters or really neat about the story um, or the way the story was told, at least a little of that would be reflected in the trailer. But there was no humor. There was no interesting pathos. There was no interesting plot. It was just, oh, no, zombies and monsters. We've seen that a million times. So it also points, by the way, to the challenge I think the Uncharted movie is going to have. And that a lot of these where people say, oh, video games are the next great, um, you know, well to draw movie content from just like Marvel Comics and DC Comics. And I keep saying, no, that's not correct. Most big budget movies piggyback on the cultural zeitgeist of... Uh, certain, most big budget games piggyback on the cultural zeitgeist that was f foundational via movies. So, you know, Tomb Raider is indie. Uncharted is Tomb Raider. Resident Evil is Night of the Living Dead and all the other zombie movies that came before it. Um, uh, you know, Prince of Persia is Tomb Raider, right? Or, to, you know, that's came before, but I mean the new one. Um, so I think, honestly, the movies that could be made great from games are not usually the big budget movies games that a lot of gamers love they you know i've said many times that something like life is strange makes a lot of sense to turn into a, a tv series uh, uh detroit become human as much as i'm not a david cage fan i think that's a much more interesting story to turn into a motion picture show um but to just go hey let's make resident evil i think this trailer for me shows all of the flaws and problems with that, which is to say it's like, eh, eh. So no, I will not be seeing this in the theater. I mean, unless the reviews are off the charts, this is something I'm going to get high and stream when it comes out on video or streaming or whatever. So anyway, I hope you're doing well, fellas uh, and filettis. I will see you soon. Take care. There's your Resident Evil reaction. I now got to decide if I'm going to make the thumbnail the God of War creator, because I know that pisses people off and they don't understand I'm doing it just for the algorithm. Or if I should be like, you know, <laughs> I tested Hook for, for three days. Um, and that guy, the, the tester of the Hook game responds. I don't know. We'll see. See you later. Bye.